Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with another unboxing of my storage unit stuff. So this right here is, uh, is I kind of know what's in it. I haven't actually opened the lid yet, but I can see from the side, I know what this figure is and this is an extremely rare grail figure. So let me uh, go ahead and show you. There's actually two figures in here. And again, these come from my storage collection. Uh, about how about a hundred of these cases some of these are projects that are finished some are projects that were ongoing some have been just sitting in storage for 20 years so let's go ahead and open this up and these are a couple of customs one's actually not a custom this is a full release this guy right here let's go ahead and show you him first this is one of my customs and this is again I, I used to love to do PMC stuff and back in the day you had you know Limited availability to parts, but I always wanted somebody with an MP5, a suppressed MP5. And this was back when I was playing like a lot of video games. And I loved a cut, basically more weapons the merrier, right? <laughs> but we can see this right here is an old school Hot Toys uh, MP5, HK MP5 SD, and with a dual magazine. But super cool weapon, always love these. Uh, ever since the movie uh, Navy Seals with Michael Bean and uh, what's his face Charlie Sheen, and they used these uh, these MP5s. That was the coolest thing ever for me. But this guy has a Hot Toys head sculpt. This is the Prince of Persia, I believe, or Jake Gyllenhaal. I want to say this guy uses uh, this right here. Looks like an old school BBI vest plate carrier. Um, just a bulletproof vest that actually had plates in it, which was really cool. Uh, they never actually made that I can remember anything that actually went into these buckles right here. So typically you'd have a placard that would hold magazines that could fit right into these, but that never happened with anything from the BBI line, I believe. I could be wrong. If I am, drop that in the comments below. Tell me I'm wrong. This right here is an old school BBI shotgun uh, bandolier. And this came with their Terminate series, I believe, uh, not Scar, but the other guy. Anyway, old school BBI, still love it today. Great bandolier for shotgun shells, and all these shells do come out. Uh, next thing we got on this guy, I can tell you right away, is this right here is a Soldier Story shotgun. And this right here was, and still is today, one of my favorite shotguns of all time. Uh, again, this is pistol grip. Love the grip first off. Second off, this is all metal metal bolt. Shells never actually went in it, and I thought that'd be super cool if they could, but you probably couldn't get them out if they jammed in there. But this is all metal right here. Great little gun, and I love the uh, hand loop. So you put your hand in there, come off the pump, and then it had the rails on the side for a tack light. But super cool, still nostalgic. Probably wouldn't put all this stuff with the guy today, but I would use both of these things on separate projects or just on this guy uh, in the future. Coming down here, these are old school Hot Toys black jungle boots. So Beats, um, peg tie basically. And these are super, super hard to come by as far as the black ones go. And I believe they only came with the Hot Toys Resident Evil, I wanna say Jack Krauser figure. Um, they also came, they were re-released on the uh, Batman, not the Batman, but James Gordon uh, special edition that you can only get at a toy show, Toy Fair exclusive, <clears throat> but they were black and gray. But these are super hard to find. Uh, we do actually print these, and they're one of my favorite boots to this day still. So moving up from there, we have some black trousers, and these look like old school... Gosh, I want to say, I don't know where these are from. I know that they're not BBI because they're not short. Uh, the old school BBI figures were had a shorter body uh, and the stitching is actually really good on these. So these could be a custom, say Ace from Ace. And then moving right along up to the, to the side here. Uh, this right here is a magazine holder. And this is from, I want to say Ace. I had this, uh, this is BBI, this is the BBI pouch on the back, and then these grenades were super cool back in the day. They're hard to find now. But distraction grenades, super cool, still love these. I think they're well worth getting if you can find them. 
it's hard to find black black ones anymore uh, moving up from there you can see we have this is a hot toys pistol holster and when hot toys release their military figures uh, whenever a company releases stuff like this they make a mold and they release just a shit ton of them so this came on probably 20 different figures including their their when they started their sdu line and that's probably where this is from based on uh the age of it but this is a basically a g pistol with a light and then old school uh soldier story hands from some of their first releases this is a standard Hot Toys True Type body underneath. And then this shirt right here was super cool. This was a very Hot Toys shirt, and it came with their PMC set. And it was, there are a couple different releases, but one of my favorite shirts of all time. It's uh, basically a low profile shirt. But anyway, it just looks like contrasted underneath with the black. So really like that pop of color. And then that's about it on this guy. You can see a Hot Toys watch, and then this is... Uh, old school ace uh undershirt but yeah i really like this guy i would probably i could upgrade a couple things on him and he would still look really good in my opinion so let's get on to guy number two and this is a highly sought after highly collectible figure this is made by bbi and this was back when bbi was the shit and i mean that quite literally everybody wanted this and this figure was so valuable and his name is BBI Slick. And just like it sounds, S-L-I-C-K. And this was released, this was a SHOT Show exclusive. And they only released 200 units worldwide. And it's still today, you can find one of these mint in box. This is like a grail piece for any old school collector. SHOT uh, Show? SHOT Show, yep. Like the gun show, SHOT yeah, Show. Yeah, like the gun show, SHOT Show, back in the day. Hmm. Yep. So, couple things uh standard you know m4 nothing special there i remember that this this vest rack system was super super rare and everybody wanted it and another company i believe bbi actually released some of just the the vest rack system out the back door but you can see the three color desert uniform this was obviously the antennas and stuff have fallen off that can all be put back on but this was a weathered figure right out of the box so you can see the weathered knee pads. You can see the backpack everybody wanted as well. And you can see this backpack and other BBI releases um, that came after that, but it's Molly pack. And this is uh, desert camouflage. It's basically a green pack that's been oversprayed with paint. And again, this is something that I have to put back together just because some stuff has fallen off based on age, but all in all, I remember a lot of people made fun of the head sculpt, but this is actually based off somebody that's uh, a real person. And I don't know who the person is, but if you do, leave that in the comments below. But this is still one of those figures that, that is going to sit in my storage unit or on my shelf because I just don't want to get rid of it. It's just got too much personal value to me. But BBI slick. And the best thing that this guy came with was also the radio. The radio was like freaking top-notch Peltor com up top uh, and then he came with a radio that I don't want to take out of the pack but that's one of those big larger radios uh, with the big boom antenna but again back in the day man hard to find hard to come by I've only owned I believe three actual mint in box and then I got this guy, all, all of which have sold, and I got this guy loose, and I just haven't got, done anything with him. Um, it's just going to sit in my collection just because it means a lot to me. So, If you like this video and you want to see more figures from the old school generation, uh, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell, and make sure that you check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, and the bathroom wall. And you'll see more great content and great old school figures like these guys.